Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to cover Kratom Extracts. I know, yet again, another Kratom episode, but um, these things work really well, and you should know how to use them properly. People should know if it's the right fit for them. So with some additional information in an episode like this, maybe you can clear it up. Uh, Extracts are enhanced products, and we can dive into how they're made, how they're used, what the effects are like, uh, the different forms of it. Uh, and finally, we'll wrap it up by saying, you know, who is the right person and what is the right circumstance to look at Kratom Extract as the primary option um, over, let's say, capsules, powder, etc. My name is Mike. Every week I discuss topics that I care about. Hopefully you find them of value as well. Today's Daily Dose is partly brought to you by Grass Door. Cannabis delivery made simple. Save a whopping 40% on your first purchase. Just use the code daily at checkout. And social CBD. CBD has helped millions of people with social anxiety, stress, depression, sleep. Discover why. Use the link in the description below. Save 20% on your first purchase. So as Kratom becomes more and more popular across the country, I mean, we're already 10 years in, but extracts have grown increasingly popular. And it's really irresponsible of retailers to turn people to extracts as the first go-to. Very irresponsible. It's not recommended. And so this is why we do a deep dive into what people's expectations are when they first come in. Um, so as I said, gaining popularity in all of these years, and, um, they say it's a natural remedy for pain relief, anxiety, and other ailments. This is Kratom as a whole. In this guide, I'm hoping to provide a comprehensive overview of these extracts and how they work, the types of benefits that people do see from them, being that they are enhanced, uh, potential side effects, of course, and how to use them safely and who's the right person to start using them. So Kratom extracts. Of course, if you already are familiar with Kratom, you don't need to hear this part, but a native tree of Southeast Asia. It's been used medicinally for a long, long time. And here in the West, we have found ways to enhance them. And they're called Kratom extracts, concentrated forms of Kratom that are made by boiling down the leaves and extracting the alkaloids. Alkaloids as in the main active ingredients that um, interact with your brain. They're processed into various forms like capsules, liquids, powders, etc. So how are they made exactly? When they boil them down, the leaves, the kratom leaves themselves to extract the alkaloids, this process is typically done using a solvent uh, such as ethanol or water, which is then evaporated to leave behind a concentrated extract. The final product can be further processed to create different forms of kratom extract. So you may have heard this term before, a one-time extract or a comprehensive uh, multi-stage extract. So this is why um, it can be very, very expensive. I mean, and cost prohibitive for some who just want to use uh, extract also why I say this is that it's not for everybody and it's not for um, everyday use. It's very important to remember that. Now, there's different types of kratom extracts, and I'm not just saying like um, in the delivery form of it, right? You have liquids, you have capsules, you have powders, you have edibles. These aren't, that's not what I'm referring to. I'm talking about different types of extracts, which are like full spectrum extracts enhanced leaf extracts, resin extracts, isolate extracts. These are all different forms. And what they're uh, attempting to do with these are different as well. And, and the effect that they would generally have a full spectrum is trying to retain as many of the naturally occurring alkaloids. An isolate is trying to just isolate one specific alkaloid. And they all do kind of react differently, but in some ways the same. One thing more I can add to this is based on research and speaking to a lot of manufacturers that do extract specifically, you know, anything under a 50% alkaloid concentration for any type of extract um, generally has a lot of stimulating effects like the energy, um, the mood enhancing benefits, and um, pain relief for some, including... Um, including some anxiety relief too. 
anything that's above 50% alkaloid concentration tends to be more opiate-like, very powerful, a strong downer. Um, of course, you'll have some of the other effects, right? The pain relief, the anxiety relief, but no, you know, very little stimulation of any because um, it's just having the opposite effect, a very heavy downer. So that's something to note as well. Of course, that is just one factor. You'll notice when they're labeling these things, if it's a capsule, it says it's a 100 milligram capsule at 45%. That is a base of 45% extract in a 100 milligram capsule. The 100 milligrams is the quantity you're taking. The quality of the extract is the base of 45% talking about the benefits, right? They're very fast acting, um, being, uh, especially like depending on how you want to deliver it. I have found that liquids react the fastest. I mean, within minutes of just taking a quick sip of it, it's already working. One of the things that I've observed with liquids, and it depends on the type of solvent they're using, but it typically leaves my tongue tingling or kind of numbish. I don't know if any of you have experienced that. Leave them down below if you have. But uh, I suspect it's usually the um, like the solvent, alcohol solvent being used. And there's various other things that people observe. I've observed increase in uh, energy. Um, pain relief is very prominent. That's usually what I use it for. Um, uh, in other occasions, I'll use it for anxiety relief because um, it works that fast. I can take a quick little sip and it's working uh, and I feel relaxed. Now, of course, there are other uses too, primarily for uh, those dealing with uh, withdrawal symptoms of opioid or heroin or fentanyl cases. You know, this is a place that um, this is a specific purpose that you you can actually see incredible results from you can take a shot you can you know take a capsule and it works relatively fast you may need more than one but it really depends on the person but the application is um, quite fitting for that it's also quite fitting for when you're traveling and you don't want to take a bunch of capsules or powder you know make your daily sludge with your powder whatever it may be but for simplicity purposes it does work great and i always carry um, a few tablets, a few capsules, um, a, a, a shot, like a small liquid shot on me. And as needed, I'll use it. Works incredibly well. Now, the side effects that are associated with extracts are that, yes, if you're using them often and it's your go-to, your tolerance levels are going to skyrocket and it's not going to be pleasant trying to come off of it you're going to find that it you know nothing else really works to avoid this best thing to do is really use it in moderation use it as if it's um like literally your last resort for those who are dealing with pain relief or anxiety you know various different circumstances that are outside of like substance abuse cases you don't really need to use this every day like i said if i'm having extreme pain and i really can't endure it then I'll take a sip or I'll take a tablet. If um, my anxiety is really through the roof, I'm feeling unwell and I really can't just handle it, I'll take a sip of some liquid extract and it really mellows everything out. I mean, within minutes, I'm not even kidding. It's um, pretty amazing. It is an enhanced product. It's not, it's not for everybody, and you should know how and when to use it appropriately. Of course, um, it's uh, not recommended for new users. Oftentimes, I've seen that retailers will suggest it because they know it's going to work the fastest and you're going to see the results immediately, and so you become a believer of how well it works. But uh, with the proper education and the guidance, you can see those same results with just, you know, capsules or powder, just regular kratom, because that works too in low doses. You don't need extract to become a believer of it. There's millions of people with their testimonials. Um, that's enough to let you know that it does work. In any case, if you have experience here and you want to share them, leave them down below. 
I hope this is useful and you have a better understanding of how these things are made, you know, the different forms of it, uh, who should use um, extracts right off the bat and who shouldn't. I'll catch you guys on the next one.